Hey guys, my name is Ricardo da Costa. You've interfaced with Linux many times before because so many devices run Linux. Phones, TVs, networking devices, point of sale systems, game consoles, in-flight entertainment systems, as well as stock exchanges. You've also heard about buzzwords like the cloud, and a lot of people may think that clouds are made up of water drops and dry air, but it's really mainly just Linux systems. Think about your favorite applications on the internet for things like mail, productivity suites, watching entertainment. They all run in the cloud on Linux-based systems. If you're a developer and you need an environment to test your code and to eventually run your application, containers streamline this. And you know what? Containers are Linux. Even the Large Hadron Collider runs Linux. So no matter who you are, you've interfaced with Linux at some stage. In fact, the very platform that you're watching this video on is probably powered by Linux too. If you're a systems administrator wanting to work with cloud technologies, containerization, and automation, it's in your best interest that you learn Linux. Now, you're probably wondering what I have on screen. This is the source code for Ansible. Ansible is powerful software that can be used to automate a number of tasks. Now, Linux is open source software, and what that means that it's protected by a license in a similar way to Ansible is, that provides that the software is freely available to anyone who wants to see it, contribute to it, and improve it. Now, that's powerful. Now, think about this for a moment. If there's a problem with the code that you're looking at right now, and the code didn't make use of an open source software license, who would fix it? Who would fix performance issues? Who would fix security issues? And who would enhance the software to make it better? With the closed source software model, the only entities that could deal with that would be those who have exposure to the source code, like the developer, maybe the team of developers, or the organization behind the, behind the closed source software. Now think about this. Your productivity, security, and features may be limited to the collective technical capabilities of those who have access to the source code. Now you see with open source software, anyone can contribute to it, be it code, ideas, or otherwise. Now, a lot of you may think that uh, open source software is powered by volunteers, and it's not. There are many companies who employ developers to contribute to open source software. 